Ah yes, an atoll. One of the most beautiful landscapes in the world. You might be asking me, well, what is an atoll? Well, according to Google, an atoll is a ring-shaped coral reef island or a series of islets. An atoll surrounds a body of water called a lagoon. And you know what, basically if I had to summarize it guys, it is a bunch of islands with a big ring of coral reef around it. And it just so happens that Belize is home to three of the four total atolls in the Western Hemisphere. For years, locals from the island of Ambergris Key, Key Cocker, and the mainland of Belize have gone out to the atolls to harvest and fish the copious amounts of wildlife in the area. And what I learned today is that the dolphins are no different. When we arrived at the atoll, there were spinner dolphins everywhere and they were eating the fish and playing in the beautiful waters. So of course, we had to jump in with them. But more on this later, guys. Normally when we head out to the atolls, we do so by boat. And typically it is a choppy ride once you get outside the protection of the barrier reef, which sits only a few hundred yards off the coast of Ambergris Key. But today we had some friends and YouTubers down from Dallas and they had a dream. Have you ever had a dream that well, they had a very specific dream, which was to take a helicopter ride. So naturally, well, we... Oh my gosh, I've never been on a chopper before. This is like my, this is a bucket list thing of mine. Yeah. There's not a lot of those left to cross off. So this is big, <laughs> this is a big deal. Oh there God. you go. Oh there it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. All right, okay. mission one about to kick off. We got the heli ready. Safety briefing is done. We're just getting dropped off at Turnoff and then the helicopter is leaving. So they are not gonna be taking us home. We're going one way into the middle of nowhere. Let's get it. Pretty good. Elliot, how was that ride? That was unbelievable. Just spectacular. Unbelievable, spectacular. Now we're at Blackbird. We're gonna camp the night out here and go catch some fish. Take the life jackets off, rule number one. She did this one thing where she hit this turn and I was going buck wild. I was freaking out. Uh, yeah, that was definitely it. Now we're on an island, technically, and I think we're gonna go a little bit more remote than this and uh, we're gonna be stuck there for about 24 hours. Today, our goal was to take Brenton to spear a fish and camp on a remote island in the atoll. With that said, before we could even get into that, we made some new friends, the spinner dolphin. Now, as someone who lives full-time in Belize and spends a good amount of time on the boat taking friends, family, and clients around the various sites of Belize, I am well-versed in seeing these stunning creatures in the wild, but nothing like today. So now that we made some new friends, our first objective was to locate a campsite so we could be prepared to spend the night, and we found the perfect location. All right, next up, we need to get some calories in us, but this is what being in Belize is all about. Fishing, enjoying the day. It's a little bit of hooky from work today, but I will get to you guys' emails tomorrow. And we have the full team at the Remax office right now. Just hope you guys can come enjoy this scene too. So now guys, we just had one problem. How do we teach a famous YouTuber how to catch a fish with a spear while free diving when his expertise is with rotted reel? So we made it out here, remote island. We were in the middle of nowhere. I mean like middle of nowhere. Trying to get Brenton on a fish with a spear gun. He's usually casting out, catching alligator gar. Crocodile gar, you're close. Did I get it wrong? Yep, you got it wrong. Okay, I, I should have got that right. <laughs> I really should have, but. Number one goal now, we gotta get this guy a fish with the spear gun out here. You ready, man? That's that's the cool thing though. Like I've never spear fished before in my life. So if he could put me on a fish via spear gun, be a, it'd be legendary, I'm not gonna lie. Well, 
Well, the first step, of course, was to stay together when we got in the water, which naturally we did not accomplish that goal. Immediately, we all went off different directions and I ended up running into a pretty nice grouper, which in the end would be beneficial for us because that would be the primary Thanks. thing on the dinner right. course stay tonight. Ready. So meanwhile, while I was out catching okay. this grouper, I had left Brenton alone, struggling to catch a fish, shooting at everything possible, yet yielding nothing yet. So we had to team up together and get him to accomplish this goal ASAP before the sun went down. So when we set off together, searching out something delicious for dinner, we came across several fish along the way. And unfortunately, a few of the shots were missed again, but we were at least making forward progress here to accomplish our goal. And then we saw this yellow jack, which I pointed out to Brenton, and he put a shot in him right away, and it was mission accomplished for just a few seconds. And then the fish got off. At this point, we had to show everyone what teamwork was all about, so I put a second shot in the fish, and then we celebrated double as hard after that and enjoyed this beautiful night camping. Wouldn't be a catching cook if we didn't have the cook aspect. Chris just whipped up a mean ceviche over here. I was out getting a couple more fish so the boat has some more stuff. We're gonna also grill up some of the fish with potatoes, so it should be amazing. Let me sample the master chef's work. spearfishing in the atolls you go out you see spinner dolphins life is good out here in belize thank you guys for watching don't forget like subscribe comment and as always we'll see you in the next video hey, what, what was your reaction to it bro that's crazy when you get in there it's just like nothingness because it's just so deep but i i underestimated how clear it was so like when i jumped in it was just us and dolphins so cool, one of the craziest shots ever bro.